Hi, hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anetta, I am photographer, graphic designer, working in both of the fields in Melbourne and Australia and creating videos about editing and probably creative industries too. If you're new to my channel, do not hesitate to subscribe and comment and do all of those things. That really helps the channel, really helps me grow and be discovered by more people. Thank you very much. Today we're gonna have a little chat because I haven't been posting on on YouTube for a couple of weeks and UNACCEPTABLE! We're also gonna do an edit, so let's get into it. I've been away and I moved places, so now I am in a new space and it's been a bit of a hectic time. I think that making YouTube videos is my favorite thing ever more than doing photography. There is this sense of fulfillment and I really enjoy doing it, but at the same time it is a very tedious process and I kind of felt guilt and it's weird because I really want to pursue this full time, but at the same time I don't want to push myself so much. If I can't make a video, do it without any breaks and if I'm having a shit time I'm not gonna take it off because this is what I want to do. I don't think that that's the way it is, but why am I just just why am I telling you this? I don't know. Um, I have coffee. We have coffee and today I went to a flea market and I got fun stuff. I got Kodak 400 old film rolls. I don't know if they were used or not. I mean, this one might have been used. I'm curious to try it out. I don't really care. It costed me five bucks, so whatever. I also got this for five dollars. Fix Panorama. This really shit plastic camera. It's like very not steady, but I'm keen to try it. It's a panoramic view and it works fine. It just hasn't been used, it's just plastic. So, but I mean, it should work. Five bucks. And then I got another thing. Oh. Sankyo Sound XL 40s for $20. It has microphone, strap, manual, funny looking bag. I'm very excited to test it out at some point. Probably not anytime soon. But I'm also planning to get a camcorder and start shooting some videos. I feel like I'm getting there. I weirdly feel like I should be a videographer, not a photographer, or like both. But I think that I could really find an outlet in videography and moving things. I also got a backdrop. I bought a backdrop because I have space and I'm gonna make a little photo studio and I need to buy some lights and fingers crossed it will work out. Yeah, it's really weird because I moved in with my partner and I'm planning to stay in Australia for a longer period of time. Like I'm gonna apply for a visa and stuff. And it's interesting to shift from being a student and visitor in Australia, having your visa like going to an expiry date, all of those three years I was trying not to accumulate things because I know how hard moving is and I just didn't want to do that and I felt like I was holding off from having friendships because how much it hurts to leave people and I kind of became a little bit of a loner. Not in a bad way, I enjoy being alone. It's very exciting, it's very fun. You're kind of starting to build your life instead of just like running through it, just doing things without long-term goals and now you have those long-term goals and anyways maybe it's a video for another day. All right I saw this picture, gotta wait for it to load, I think it's loaded, it's just a little bit blurry. Let's convert to smart object. I wanted to use this one too, I feel like it could be fun for some layering. I've been trying to explore different editing techniques because I feel like I've been stuck in doing the same thing over and over again 
and I just it's not challenging in some ways anymore like I really enjoyed this I like this but I have this stupid fear that no one's gonna like it and it's my problem because I should not care what everyone thinks but you do when you create something you kind of tailor it to people in a sense but let's today let's do something that would not appeal to masses. This is funky, huh? I like that she looks like she's sinking in that stuff. I think I love this. My textures are from Texture Fabric. I have links in the description below. There's not all of it, so keep that in mind, but there's a lot of textures that I got from Texture Fabric that you can download for free too and enjoy the endless collections. Oh my, so the other day I figured out that you can do this. So if you go on a layer and you use adjustments through here, for example here in saturation, you know, you change something, whatever, it is here and you can turn it on and off instead of like stacking them but that's the point that you don't think like you can stack them so it's not really usable for what i do can you oh no you can stack them should i try using like this it's just easy to access rather than going there it's basically the same though i don't know i like using it like this looks like you're doing more job because you have a lot of layers but it's not as tidy then which is not good because you want things to be tidy to not get lost in your files What if we take this off? It was very dark and I didn't see the thing. This is matte. I love this so much. It looks very wintry and Russian. I really like these paintings. I use them a lot. They bring out in your real life experience. They have some sort of nostalgia in my opinion and I love using them for that reason. Do you see how Cloud looks nice on her eyebrow? That's really nice. I feel like I'm never using difference and exclusion even if it has a lot of potential. It's really does nice things. Look, I don't know what exactly it does, how it works, but it changes colors nicely. I need to stop thinking that things are bad because I don't think they are. They can still inspire people. And if you don't have to take it just as it is, but you can find things that you like. You know, you might not like the general thing, but you might like two specific things using maybe face and this checked background. Maybe that can inspire you to do something with it, even though the art is shit. But I don't know why I assume that this thing is shit, because people don't like that stuff on Instagram. And that's the only validation that I can get so Should I become a trendsetter? This is now trendy. A lot of colors. I think it is trendy. What is happening here? This is how I feel. Like, this is what's happening in my life right now. I don't know. Do I like it? I feel like it's nicer without that branch. Let's leave it like that. And maybe now let's try. This might be it. I zoned out because I didn't like it and I was talking a lot how I don't like it and I think we reached the point where I kind of like it. I think it's cool. My coffee is cold already. I really love how pink goes through to green and blue. Maybe the blue is a little bit 
Nah, I think it's nice in that orange, pink, green, blue, it's a lot of colors, they're very, very pastel. There is this kind of blurry, faded feeling, but at the same time, there are some contrasty things. I really enjoyed that. I like how digital it is and it's kind of grainy and the colors are weird and it's kind of washed out. Yeah, I think I love this. Yeah. Sweet. It went from zero to hero. I did not like it along the way, but I feel like it turned out pretty awesome and it'd be fun to do maybe a similar series, like maybe two, three, three or four, maybe four. It's odd. Cut. I mean, wow. I just lost four words. Four designs in like similar colors or the same colors and make them as a print and frame it in like not a big ones just like tiny ones put it on the wall i feel like that would be cool could look nice in the toilet for some reason i like toilets they're very underrated spaces you could make them really nice but that's it for today it is sunday i'm doing this on sunday and i'm gonna post this on thursday so i feel like i'm changing maybe i'll start to you know plan my videos a little bit more. I have Patreon if you'd like to support me and if you don't then you can't just smash that like and subscribe and comment you know you know how it goes and thank you very much for watching I hope to see you next week bye